want a puzzle. I want a puzzle. I want the puzzle. In part one of this month's update, I shared with you the various language programs we worked on with Jamie in July. When we break skills down for him and teach him these language and communication targets, he picks them up relatively quickly. But we can't possibly teach him everything. That would take too long. So what we want him to do is be able to pick up language through his environment and what he hears people say every day. However, when we looked at what he was able to pick up by himself, they were all either one word or very short phrases. He wasn't very good with listening and remembering the complete sentences people say. So to work on this, we also started a verbal imitation program towards the end of the month to train his auditory attending and memory. We started with just imitating sentences with three to four syllables, followed by five to six syllables. Let's take a look at where he's at. Copy me. The bears went out for a walk. They're out for a walk. Huh? That's not it, but it's alright. The bears went out for a walk. Alright. <laughs> Good night, everybody. It's my turn to go to bed. It's my turn to bed. The listening. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Then, oh, yes. You saw in the video that his therapist was also teaching him the strategy to look at the therapist speaking when he got it wrong because that helped him to copy more accurately. Along the same lines of wanting him to listen better, we also wanted him to listen out to people's comments and be able to reciprocate with his own comments. Often when he makes comments, they are on his own accord and never in response to the things we say. So we did a commenting statement statement program. We started practicing this in a structured setup where his therapist makes a statement and Jamie would have to say a similar statement back. I am reading book. I am playing other cartoons. Oh, good timing me. Well done, next slide. I am kissing birds. I am pushing my airplane. Oh, good timing. Moving forward, we want to be able to apply this in a more natural setup, such as when we're playing toys together. Another goal we have for Jamie is to develop more awareness around the disruptive behaviors he engages in, and instead learn certain cool behaviors that he can display in those same situations. We call this the cool and silly program. In the first phase, what we did was set up the situations he typically has challenges with, such as one, when he is unable to communicate what he wants, Two, when we change the way he's playing something. Three, when his requests are denied. And four, when we are unable to fix something the way he likes it. Then what we do is we get him to watch us act out certain cool or silly behaviors in these situations. And he has to identify if we are cool or silly. Let's take a look. I want the video. Okay, which, uh, this one? No, 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 I want video. This one? No, 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 I want the video. No, no. Was Amanda being cool or silly? Silly. Silly. Is it this no, one? No, I want the video. Oh, is it this one? <sighs> I don't know how to say. Okay, Gina will help you, okay? Is it the red uh, no. bus video or the yellow bus video? A yellow bus. Oh, okay, now I know. You told me you don't know how to say. Alright. Was Amalia being cool or silly? Cool. Cool, yeah. Why is Amalia cool? Why is Amalia cool? Cool. Because? Talking nicely. Talking nicely. Yeah, so good. Okay, it's a break time. You can go play. The cool behavior you saw here was talking nicely and the silly behavior was shouting. Besides that, they are also working in Jamie identifying other kinds of silly behaviors that include kicking, throwing, flopping on the floor, and other kinds of cool behaviors such as asking for a hug, sighing, or saying, I don't know how to say it. The last thing I want to share with you is a food tolerance program we started this month. 
Jamie's parents shared with us that he has always been eating rice, bread, and pasta, but never any meats and vegetables. This is definitely important for his health and nutrition. So what we did was start with getting him to eat a very small piece of meat and reward him with either a preferred snack or a video right after. Then we eventually increased the portion size and also reduced the frequency that he got his reward. Wow! Show me finish! Ah! Can I see ah? <gasps> finish! Good boy! There you go! You get the iPad. Let's eat! So good! Yum yum! Not so bad, right? Nice! Nice! Can I see? All done? Done. Well done. There you go. This is going to be an ongoing program to expose to him to many kinds of meats and vegetables and also transfer this process to his helper and parents. I'm looking forward to sharing with you about this in the upcoming months.